Well, good Monday morning to you folks. Hopefully things are going well with you. I hope you had a good weekend and uh, you're ready to face the day, ready to face the week, whatever God has in store for you. In the book of John, um, this is 1 John chapter 3, the scripture says, Behold what manner of love the Father hath bestowed upon us, that we should be called the sons of God. And therefore the world knoweth us not, because it knew him not. Beloved, now are we the sons of God, and it doth not yet appear what we shall be, but we know that when he shall appear, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. And every man that hath this hope in him purifieth himself, even as he is pure. Whosoever committeth sin transgresseth also the law for sin is the transgression of the law and you know that he was manifested to take away our sins and in him is no sin of course there's much more to read on after this but talking about how we are the uh, blessed to be called the children of god the sons of God, <clears throat> the daughters of God. You know, um, most of us, we had an earthly father. We saw him at some time or another. Um, the word of God says no man has seen God at any time and lived. We know that Moses uh, declared, uh, show me your glory uh, to God. And God kind of hid him, the scripture says, uh, uh, that when as God passed by it, Moses saw his hinder parts, but he did not see him. Now, um, when it describes Jesus, says it doesn't yet appear what we're going to be like, but when he comes, we're going to be like him. But here in this life, uh, sometimes people try to explain how it is that they see God, and I honestly, uh, I feel like that it is the right thing to say that. When we uh, live a life that is pleasing to the Lord, people can see God in us. Um, as it has been said that um, men will see your good deeds and they will glorify your Father in heaven. Uh, so however it is, if you take time, if you slow down long enough to take time and look around you, you will see what God has done in his great works. We see him personally. You'll see the works that he's done. You'll see the creation that he's made. And uh, one day you will see him and you will stand uh, before him. And so will I. And my only prayer is for you and for me and for anyone watching this is that uh, the preparation has been made uh, to meet and to stand before God with Christ as our intercessor. We'll give this song a shot today. I see God where the mountains reach the sky. I see God when the eagle starts to fly. I see God in a little baby. I see God and he makes my life worthwhile yes I see God when the bridegroom meets his bride I see God in the Father's loving I see God when a mother starts to cry. I see God in a love that never dies. I see God where the people meet to pray. 
Thank you for all you do for us, Lord. And we're thankful that um, although now we look around and we can see um, you in creation, we look and we can see you in those that we worship with and serve with, we know that one day we will see you face to face. And God, the only thing that takes that fear away uh, is the love that you gave to us. And God, I pray that you will continue to bless for those who are watching this. I know that there are some probably are not feeling well. Maybe there are those that have suffered loss in their families. God, I pray that you would bless and encourage them, give them help and strength today. We ask in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you, folks. Have a great day. We'll see you on Tuesday.